Hello and welcome to One North Maine, BCA's magazine show. I'm Jay Miller, and today we're at the Council on Aging. There's a lot happening here. We love to hang out. We love to have a good time at the Council on Aging. Our focus today, though, is Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes. 2016 version begins June 11th and ends on June 18th. There are many activities to begin the week, during the week, and then to finish the week off. We're going to promote some of those activities as well as look back at some previous year's events. So sit back, relax, and see what your community has to offer. Are you ready to? Hi, I'm Hilary Lovell and I work for Signature Healthcare. We're here at the Shaw Center to promote Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes. On June 11th here at the Shaw Center, we'll be holding our fifth annual Health and Wellness Expo. It's a great family event for the community and we hope you'll join us. We have several opportunities here that day, such as exercise and fitness demos for children and adults. We have healthy cooking demonstrations going on where you can taste test everything and take the recipe home with you. We have some physical fitness activities that will be outside on the grass for the children, a small obstacle course. We actually are really excited. We have the Lion's Eye Mobile here this year. They'll be offering eye screenings, which is wonderful. That'll be a great addition to our already various screenings that we provide, such as A1C and glucose, cholesterol, blood pressure, and vascular screenings. Um, and then, of course, the variety of vendors that we have from our community. We really couldn't have been so successful with this event for the past five years without all of our wonderful community partners, such as the Brockton VNA, the Old Colony YMCA, and so many others. Once again, our annual Health and Wellness Expo is taking place on Saturday, June 11th, right here at the Shaw Center from 9 until noon. We hope to see you there. The Health and Wellness Expo is certainly a great way to kick off the Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes Campaign. Let's go back to 2014 and kick it back to Hillary Lovell to see what fun they had then and what might be in store for 2016. We have the Y that's here doing fitness for uh, the kids and adults alike, healthy cooking demonstrations from our Sodexo at Signature Healthcare Chefs. And uh, they're working very closely with Vincenti's Market, which is a local market here in Brockton. Uh, lastly, we actually have uh, some wonderful free screenings taking place uh, that are going on that are vascular screenings. We have blood pressures and we have uh, glucose and cholesterol screenings. I'd like to take you on a tour and uh, show you a little bit about what's going on here today. So let's, let's go. I'm Sandy Ambrose. I'm a registered dietitian and certified diabetes educator at Signature Healthcare, Brockton Hospital. Um, we're here today as part of Knockdown Diabetes Day, and uh, I'm actually focusing more on pre-diabetes, but of course brought some other information uh, for people with diabetes. And uh, we're teaching people how to build a healthier meal here. Wow. The um, plate we have here actually shows us that half our meal should really be fruits or vegetables and uh, only a quarter of the plate for the protein and just a quarter of the plate for the grains. Carbohydrate is such an important part of controlling our blood glucose and also important with people with prediabetes as well. So to try to attract people over to the table, we've actually made a uh, breakfast parfait here. This breakfast parfait is made out of these ingredients. Uh, we used a no sugar added Greek yogurt. The advantage to Greek yogurt is it contains more than twice as much protein and half as much carbohydrate as regular um, yogurt. So a big advantage for a person with diabetes. However, you do have to be careful to check for the one that's either no sugar added 
or either purchase plain and season it yourself. Uh, one of the sweeteners we use to make our homemade granola, which is on the top of our uh, little parfait cups, is monk fruit, which is a new sweetener that's out there. Um, this one, monk fruit, is from a Himalayan fruit that has been found and is a good addition to the natural sweetener options. Over here we have the American Diabetes Association, which has been a great partner of the Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes Campaign. Al Whitaker has been a great asset to the team. So basically we're providing a lot of information around diabetes prevention, a lot of things around food, because everybody wants to know what can I eat. So we have uh, recipe samplers, looking at a typical plate, what a healthy plate looks like, um, some information around just diabetes, what's the difference between type 1 and 2, what's pre-diabetes, all of these good stuff. And then some things around, um, specifically that target our kids that are living with type 1. So we have a Safe at School initiative. So how do you educate personnel, school personnel, around issues with uh, type 1 diabetes? Of course we needed to have Brockton Wick here. They have some great information on nutrition for uh, prenatal care uh, and for expecting mothers as well as children through age five and they have some great information on uh, on that and they also do a lot with the local farmers markets providing checks uh, to those uh, individuals in need. We have Charles Doucette who is our amazing Sodexo chef who is actually preparing a couple of dishes very diabetic friendly very healthy choices. So we have a little tropical uh, warm tropical salad mixed with quinoa uh, we have papayas, mangoes, um, pineapples, all from Vincente's Market. We toss it with a little bit of uh, apple juice. We add a little bit of uh, chopped mint uh, and some black quinoa to kind of um, top it off. So that you can use on top of an ice cream, you can use it on top of a uh, yogurt. Um, it's a great accompaniment to uh, um, a lot of desserts um, and even use it as an appetizer. And what he did was he met with Vincenti's Market from Brockton and found out what are some things that we can use that you provide at your grocery store uh, that we can put into our recipes. We're here for the Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes and we're also explaining to people that they have healthy alternatives, especially in a city where you know it seems like those choices tend to dwindle or, or like you feel like you're, you're limited almost. It doesn't have to be like that, you know? We actually have the Y right over here, and they just wrapped up a fitness class with some of the children who are here, and they're going to be starting a Zumba uh, instruction outside here at uh, Campanelli Stadium, so we're really looking forward to that as well. Gentlemen and ladies, does anybody want a Zumba? Come on! Come on! We're really thankful this year that the UMass Extension is here. They're providing a lot of nutrition guidance. Uh, they have some wonderful games and um, actually some, some food demos that they have as well so they can show what a healthy plate looks like. This is just a poster showing the typical American diets and what we should be limiting and what we should be eating more of. And we want to be eating more of like whole grains and vegetables to meet our 100% goal. And we want to eat less of like solid fats and added sugars and refined grains. Whole grains, we're only eating like about 15% of our recommended intake. And we want to, what we want to do in the future and even start doing now is like eating more so we can meet our goals and eating less of the bad things. We have the Family Center here who provides some wonderful uh, programming to the community of Brockton and surrounding areas to the whole family. Uh, a lot of it is based around nutrition and fitness. Uh, and we're so blessed to have them here today. The Family Center is a resource center um, and we also provide uh, families with children with free activities. Walgreens, I'm sure many of you have seen Walgreens out in the community. They have a great team that is always willing to give back and help out when needed. They have some great information today as well uh, on what they have from the pharmacy standpoint. So thank you to Walgreens. Walgreens proud uh, supporter of this event. It's very important to, to bring health. Um, health and, and uh, healthy living tips to the, to the public, so very proud to be part of this. Old Colony Elder Services is here as well as the uh, Brockton VNA and they have some great programming around diabetes as well. We provide Meals on Wheels and also congregate meals. We serve 34,000 meals a month to people throughout our catchment area 
and we offer diabetic meals. So if somebody needs meals on wheels at home and they're diabetic, they can certainly come to Old Colony. We have our own diabetes education program. We have a diabetes education manager that runs outpatient programs, and I handle the patients that I see in the home with diabetes. This is the amount of sugar in a 12 ounce can of soda, regular soda, and this is the amount in, in a half a cup of instant oatmeal. Three ounces of fish and a Milky Way candy bar. This is the fat content. And then of course we have a Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes table because there is a full week long of activities uh, and this is just the kickoff. So there's uh, brochures that many of you may have seen at libraries and of course at Harbor One that have a whole list of activities that are happening starting today going through next Saturday June 21st that culminates with a walk here at Campanelli Stadium. I'll wrap up my tour with uh, the vascular and uh, other additional screening areas that take place over here. Well, uh, if you want to zoom in here on the poster, our vascular team from Signature Healthcare has been providing vascular screenings today, uh, checking for blockages in the legs, the abdomen, and then also checking the carotid. Um, we also have some staffing that's doing blood pressure screenings and glucose and cholesterol. It is a, uh, a popular area. Rockton Mashdown Diabetes! Hi, I'm Kathy Azak from St. Joseph's Manor, Matter Day Adelte Health, and we're part of Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes. We're going to have a program on, at Matter Day on uh, Monday, June 13th from 4 to 5 p.m. And our topic will be um, medications, timing is everything. A lot of times people don't understand the importance of taking your medications at a certain time when you're diabetic. So we're going to address that and we're going to have a snack, a healthy snack and some waters we're going to be offering to the public. And we hope that you can, enjo can join us. Rank these foods from the highest amount of sodium to the lowest amount of sodium. Pineapple, tortilla chips, American cheese, chicken noodle soup, a pickle, and some sliced ham. So we would ask our contestants to rank them from the lowest amount of sodium to the highest amount of sodium. Chicken noodle soup one, ham number two, the cheese, the pickle, actually the cheese, the tortilla chip, the pickle, and the pineapple. So you're correct with the least amount of sodium that is our pineapple. But the one thing we have messed up right here is the tortilla chips would be next. Those are the other, the least amount next to the pineapple. After that is the American cheese, and then the pickle, and then we're going to switch these as well. Since our ham is cured, we're adding salt to it when we're making it, and so that's the order from the highest amount all the way to the lowest amount of sodium. Hi, my name is Alexandra Avedesian. I am Program Manager for Community Health at Brockton Neighborhood Health Center. Welcome to Brockton Neighborhood Health Center's Vicente site on the corner of Pleasant Street and Warren Avenue. I would now like to introduce you to our test kitchen and Mary Lynch, our registered dietitian. Hi everyone, I'm Mary Lynch. I'm a nutritionist at Brockton Neighborhood Health Center and I'm really excited about Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes. I'll be doing a cooking class in this beautiful kitchen here at the, what we call the Vicente site, which is attached to our new satellite. Our class is on June 15th, 11 to 12. Um, it's healthy dishes that will not break your carb budget. We do a cooking class here every Wednesday at 11 and at 1, and we use a special way of counting carbs. It's called the carb buck. So we're going to incorporate that into our class with some sneaky low carb dishes. Um, and you'll learn how to count carbs with our carb bucks. So please come join us. Learn how to cook a few dishes and learn how to try some, some, new, um, some new flavors here with me. Thanks. I really do. Okay.
microcosm as well um, to, to have these, these ways of learning about nutrition and we do it through cooking um, every week on Wednesdays. Um, we also have a diabetes group at 1 o'clock, so cooking is usually at 11 o'clock. Um, and it's, it's sort of a fun, hands-on way to learn you know, how to be healthier through food. Um, we do some very simple recipes every week. Usually we do one or two simple recipes. Um, so thanks for being here. A smoothie, a pear smoothie, using um, pears, that's the juice of one lemon, soy milk, and ground flaxseed. I'm gonna make that really quick. We usually start the class with a, with a ginger tea, but today we're gonna make this smoothie. It tastes okay, we tested it. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good because it has fiber in it. So fiber is a really good thing to have in your diet. If you want to make that right now, you have to sample that. So Louisa and I and Ray made it before. Mm -hmm. So all you need is a blender. Buy the plain tea bags, set these, and make it strong. There's no sugar in this. So we're just going to add a little bit of green tea to the blender. We're going to add a little bit of pear to it. So does anybody here eat pears? Mm -hmm. Okay. So pears, we got these next door too. These pears are... Um, Pears are special. Pears are high in a, in a special kind of fiber that actually decreases cholesterol. But again, we're thinking about blood pressure today, so anyway we can seek gluten, it's going to help our blood pressure. And we're adding the peel, we're keeping, we're not peeling it. So why am I not peeling it? Does anybody have any ideas? The nutrients are in the skin. There's a lot of fiber in the skin, so you don't have to be super precise. When you're baking, you have to be really, really precise. So I'm just, I'm just kind of winging it a little bit. So I'm gonna add some lemon juice. And I just do this to catch the seeds. It's called for the juice of one lemon. So I'm kind of doubling this recipe. This is like, um, some people call it diet sugar. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this in for sweetener. Eight. Okay, just a little bit. We don't want to burn anybody up. Okay, what else do I need? Sweetener, pears, lemon, soy milk, soy milk, yogurt. Okay, it's great if you can't drink milk. Soy milk also has. Some people use coconut milk or almond milk. This is a better option because it's higher in protein. One cup. One cup. Recipe. Who's following me here? One cup. One little thing that we're gonna add is ground flaxseed. Flaxseed. It's a whole grain, so it's good with your blood pressure. The green tea. So, Louisa, you're in charge. is Brockton Neighbors Health Center and Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes fifth year anniversary and we hope you will join us in our week-long events from June 11th to June 15th. Please come get healthy with us. Hi, I'm Monica Tavares and we are at the Cavern Association of Brockton. On Thursday, June 16th from 4 to 6, we are going to have a workshop about nutrition and physical activity with the youth as part of the Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes campaign. Hello, my name is Hermelinda Latouche. I'm from the Central YMCA. I'm one of the fitness instructors who work closely with children, educating them on nutrition and physical activity. On June 16th at 4 o'clock, I'll be at the Cape Verdean Association where we'll have kids from grades 6 through 12 take part in a relay race which will involve these food items here. We will have the kids position these items at the right food group, such as placing cereal, in the carbs food group, they'll run and place the milk in the proper protein and dairy food group, and such as spinach in the ve veggies and fruits food group. It's a fun activity where they won't have to sit and just listen to us talk about eating properly. They will make the choice on where it is, um, and we'll make sure to explain um, eating certain foods in moderation um, as well. And it's going to be a fun event. I hope you guys will join us. And I'll see you then. Martin Oxham Diabetes! Woo! Hey, Dottie, do you like bingo? B I N G O. Not the song, B bingo, the game. Yeah, they have it Friday mornings at the COA. Oh, all right. Hey, what do you know about diabetes? Not much. Well, 
let me tell you, if you like bingo and you don't know a lot about diabetes, Dia Bingo is something you should be interested in. Do they have good prizes? They have excellent prizes. And you know, have you ever heard of Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes? Yeah. Oh my gosh, let me tell you. On I June, went to that beach ball thing. Oh my that gosh, that beach ball is a lot of fun. You yeah. learn a lot. So on Thursday, June 16th at the Greek Orthodox Church and on Friday the 17th at the Dorn Davies Senior Center, we're going to be playing Dia Bingo for prizes and to learn all about diabetes. That means I can go twice. That's right. Twice the prizes and twice the knowledge. Who's at the door? Come on in. Oh, who is that? Hey, what's going on? Dottie Julie, I am here for Dia Bingo. Whoa. Hey, so you're playing some Dia Bingo. Outstanding. Yeah, it's, uh, Julie says it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, it always is. Dia Bingo is the happening event. Okay. Can I read a couple of questions? Oh, please, yeah. I, I, I don't know much about diabetes. It's time to get educated, okay. Dottie. Let's Good. do it. Yep. Question. A urine test that shows how well your kidneys are working. Ugh. Hmm. I wonder, does it have anything to do with the word micro-something? It does. Micro, micro, micromanagement? No, no, no. Micro albumin. Correct! Oh, you are yeah. so smart. Now find it. Find it on the Dio Bingo find board. Find it on my board. There it is. There it is. Woohoo! Okay. Erectile dysfunction indita indicates greater risk for. Now, what would I know about erectile dif dysfunction? Well, he should know something about erectile dysfunction. He, What's he, the answer? Are you going to join us on Thursday and Friday during Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes Week to play? I can't wait. Ooh, we can't wait either. Can you? Don't forget to join us on Thursday, June 16th at the Greek Orthodox Church and Friday, June 17th at Dawn Davies Center so you too can have fun playing Dia Bingo! Ladies, ladies, I don't hear anything. Is that bad? Could be. <laughs> we always knew you didn't have a lot of heart. Dottie Slack and Julie Lom are quite the team. Let me tell you, they make Dia Bingo fun. Let's look back at a previous event to get you in the mood for a little bingo. They're getting more health care that they're going to more programs, that they're seeing the nutritionists, that they're, they're getting more involved in self-management things, that they're starting to take care of themselves. And remember that seniors are anybody over the age of 60. And the people between 60 and 65 now are the baby boomers. And those are the people who really are looking out for their health. They're the ones that go to yoga, that go to Tai Chi, that are, that are, on, the, are on all of the um, sites looking up ADA, looking up CDC. Um, so I think we have uh, more informed seniors than we used to. You need to have that blood sugar tested at least every three months, okay? Under the O, always carry a list of what you are taking. Under the B again, the most common complication of diabetes is what? Under the N, one slice of bread has how many grams of carbohydrates? Under the B, the term for sugar in your bloodstream is what? Under the eye, a urine test that shows how well your kidneys are working is called, under the N, oils, butter, margarine, mayonnaise, are what? Bingo! 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 Hi, my name is Todd Marlin. I'm the general manager of the Brockton Rocks, and we are looking forward to hosting the Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes Walk here at Campanelli Stadium on June 18th. Um, after the participants take a stroll around Campanelli Stadium three times, they will culminate their walk right here at home plate. And at 12 o'clock, we're going to have a Rocks game for everybody um, that comes out for the walk, gets a free ticket. And uh, again, we're looking forward to hosting. The Brockton Rocks are a huge supporter of this event. Um, there's nothing more important than fitness, diet, and staying healthy in general. 
My name is Brian Vicente. I'm a store manager here at Vicente Supermarket, where we clearly understand that diabetes is something that's plaguing the community. So together, along with Brockton Neighborhood Health Center, we believe that we can provide people uh, with education on uh, dieting and how to take better care of yourself in order to uh, bring that uh, the plaguing down of the diabetes a lot in the Brockton community. So for the walk on June 18th, uh, we are going to be collaborating um, with Brockton Neighborhood on the, uh, the event for uh, the Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes. So we're going to be supplying some fruit and donating um, some other healthy, uh, healthy things for people to have uh, for the walk. Because, you know, we strongly believe that um, with the proper dieting and proper education that we can definitely, um, you know, make a great push in the city of Brockton to educate people about, uh, the, about diabetes. And, you know, we're going to do our part. And don't forget to join us on June 18th for Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes. It's going to be an awesome event, so make sure you don't miss out. Hello, everyone. I'm Frank McDonald, Vice President with the Old Colony YMCA and proud member of the Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes Coalition here uh, in Brockton. Uh, and we're here at Campanelli Stadium today, home of the Brockton Rocks, um, to talk a little bit about our uh, Leo McNeil Family Fun Walk and Field Day here at Campanella on Saturday, June 18th. And the, the day is a celebration of many people in the greater Brockton community to help educate and inform people about the chronic problem of diabetes in the community, which afflicts many uh, people throughout the community of all ages, including children. And, uh, and so our efforts are really aimed to reduce the incidence of diabetes, and especially the diabetes in youth, uh, due to uh, poor diets and nutrition and uh, also to help seniors with their uh, uh, challenges of diabetes and getting them onto a healthy path of living. And we're working uh, very strongly together with a, a variety of different programs to help do this and reduce diabetes throughout the year. The Y offers a, a, a tremendous amount of programs and as well as all of the groups that are with the coalition, the, the area hospitals, the Boys and Girls Club, uh, you name it, um, Old Colony Elder Services, etc. And we're all working throughout uh, the year to really bring down uh, uh, diabetes and help folks in the community. And the walk will commence at 9.30 and we're going to, it's going to be a three kilometer walk around the stadium, three laps around the stadium. And then shortly after that, at 10 o'clock, we're going to have a variety of activities including group exercise class, uh, lawn games uh, at, on the uh, field of Campanelli, including a parent-child wiffle ball game, and uh, uh, corn toss, inflatables, etc., etc. So a lot of family fun. Well, there you have it, Brockton. Another one North Main in the books, and Brockton knocks down Diabetes Week is right around the corner. Again, June 11th through June 18th. To learn more about Brockton Community Access, please visit our website at bcatv.org. You can also check out our YouTube page, youtube.com backslash the Brockton channels, all one word. For everyone in One North Maine, Brockton knocks down diabetes.